Hello, I'm Jason, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dallas. Today, I'm going to show you how to resolve the got an error reading communication packets error in Amazon Relational Database Service for MySQL. Let's get started. Sometimes you might see the message, aborted connection, got an error reading communication packets in the MySQL error log. To resolve this error, let's first review two server status variables within MySQL. The first one is called aborted clients, the number of connections that were abandoned because the client ended without closing the connection properly. This number increments when a client might have successfully connected to MySQL, but it later disconnected improperly or was terminated. Aborted connections is the number of failed attempts to connect to the MySQL server. Now, let's check the status variables aborted connections and aborted clients to see these values. As we can see, the values are at or near zero. Let's start off by mimicking the aborted connection error in RDS from MySQL by improperly closing connections to the database. First, I'll run sysbench to read the database and then kill the sysbench process while read queries are in flight. Now, if we check the MySQL error log, while log error verbosity is set to 3, we can see the following abandoned connections. Errors such as the got an error message in the error log usually means that there are unexpectedly terminated connections. Because abandoned connections can happen for a number of reasons, to isolate the cause of the issue, it's a best practice to check the following. MySQL error log with log error verbosity equal to 3. General query log if enabled. Performance schema, host cache table, client side logs. Now let's see how to resolve this error. 1. Review your RDS for MySQL parameter group. If you are using a default parameter group, then it is likely the default settings aren't adequate for your database workload. For aborted connection errors, review these specific parameters and then adjust them accordingly. Connect timeout, the number of seconds that the MySQL D server waits for the connect packet before sending with bad handshake. Interactive timeout, the number of seconds that the server waits for activity on an interactive connection before closing it. Wait timeout, the number of seconds that the server waits for activity on a non-interactive connection before closing it. Max allowed packet, the maximum size in bytes for one packet or any generated intermediate string or any parameter sent by the MySQL statement send long data that the C API function can send. Be sure that your client applications are properly closing their database connections using the MySQL close function. So now you know several things to check if you run into the got an error reading communications packet error in Amazon RDS for MySQL. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. Mm -hmm.